First off, um, really excited for two groups of people today. Um, really excited um, for our players. You know, obviously it wasn't a, a real great week. Um, wasn't a lot of positivity around for obvious reasons. And I thought these guys just kept working. You know, they, they stayed the plan. They kept grinding. They practiced extremely hard um, like they have all spring and all fall and um, really performed well today. And then our fans, too. You know, obviously that's not an easy week on the fans, um, how passionate our fans are, you know, to live with that, what happened last week. I'm happy for them to, to feel good today and everybody just have a, have a good day, really, of, of good Trojan football for the most part today. You know, at the same time, we got a lot of work to do. Uh, we're a really uh, banged up team going into that game. You know, a lot of guys on the sidelines hurt and some more guys today. And uh, as you saw, we pulled our, pulled our first guys really early. Um, you know, understand the point is to win the game and try to get to the next one. And um, so, put, you know, we put some other guys in there late. Our first team defense was lights out, you know, really shut out. They were all out on the last play or they were all taken out uh, really early because of, um, you know, where our, where our roster numbers are. So pleased that those other guys got a chance to play in there and pleased the way that we finished the game on the ground. Um, able to, to run out, you know, uh, a really good last drive there and finish. And so just really proud, really happy for our players and happy for our fans today. Coach, Cody seemed a lot more comfortable during the game, after the game, just in general. Did you feel that all day today? I did. I felt that all week. Um, you know, you know, you never know what's going to happen in the game, but he really was. Um, really had a great week of preparation. And it was really good to see his preparation uh, pay off. Wasn't an easy week for him either after last week. And so um, just like all of our players, they went through a lot this week and they stayed together. They didn't let people tear them apart. And they came out and performed really well today. That was Max Nikias' play. He told me just throw it deep and they'll cheer even if it's incomplete. So <laughs> we ran that play for President Nikias. Coach, uh, and it was open. Coach, uh, Andre Williams rushed for 200 yards uh, last week against, uh, against uh, Wake Forest. What was the game plan? Were you, were you trying to stop him or was it just an uh, overall hands uh, together stop his ball? Are we worried about the quarterback? Well, we were number one worried about the running back. You know, we had not played a power power run game. We had played a little bit more spread out in our first two opponents and had played great defense. So this was the next challenge, very much a Stanford-like offense philosophy. And so it was great to see our guys play really well, you know, to give up whatever, uh, 184 yards on the day. And I'm assuming, you know, 100 yards rushing, that last run was probably 40 yards or something. So uh, our guys really tackled well. Um, you know, the two themes really of the week for the defense was all about tackling and for the offense was all about the execution of the play action passing game that we thought was going to be there uh, in this matchup. Why, why, did you, why did you take more shots down the field? Yeah, just really, it was that game. You know, we felt going in, this was a big play action game for us. They were committed to stopping the runs. Their ends were really closing, so you could see, like, the first play of the game, uh, how we had set it up to come out on the close end and, and throw the ball on their safeties. We felt that that's, that was a good matchup for us, um, our guys on their safeties. And um, fortunately, uh, the players executed it really well. Was, did, it, did it have anything to do with last week of, of feeling like you, know, you needed to do that to open other things up? Or no, no, we, we, we go into every game to win the game. And um, you're never going to know exactly how the game is going to go, um, how it's playing out. And um, this is how this one did today. The play action pass works because you establish running. Sometimes it takes commitment to doing that. You feel like you stayed committed to, sometimes you're running on passing situations, uh, but staying committed to that, was that something that a major thing that you thought? Yeah, I don't know what the stat would be through three games, but I would imagine this is got to be the most rushing attempts through the first three games of a season in a long, long time um, at SC. And, you know, so that does, sometimes things don't necessarily pay off in the game you're in. They pay off on the next one. And so the commitment to running the ball in the first two weeks opened up those play action passing, um, the play, play action passing game today in the game. And then we also ran a ball a lot today too, you know, 43, um, you know, 43 rushing attempts. We still only threw the ball 19 times, you know. We just happened to complete some of them this week. Is that you know? a ratio that you like winning? I, I like to win the game, you know, and, and see see whatever that is. And so I know that, you know, as you can kind of see, the story is, well, the passing game and the big plays and stuff, but really 19 pass attempts, you know, but we happened to complete 17 of 19, you know, for 15 yards an attempt.
A lot of guys going back for returns today. Marquise wasn't one of them. What was uh, behind that decision? Well, the first thing on the punt return is he's there. We had a punt set up to block, which we blocked today, and Soma jumped off sides. Uh, we had a great Baxter, and the guys really prepared really well, had an exact block, and Marquise was part of the block. Or if they blocked him, if they didn't block him, he was going to block it. Otherwise, Leon was going to block it. So they executed it really well. Unfortunately, we had we had jumped off sides on it. What was uh, this past week like for you? You talked about it being part of your team and, uh, and fans, but um, how was it for you? It, you know, that's part of the job, you know, so uh, my job is totally committed to the players and to that locker room and um, doing everything that we can, um, just like we do every week to help them win. And so, like I said, I'm just I'm really happy for those those players, our fans. And obviously that includes their families, too, you know, because it's, a, you know, just it was hell week, you know, but I kept telling them, don't stop, you know, keep going. You, you had joked about you were going to run out first, maybe. In the Did you hear any boos today? Before, during, or at any point? I don't. I don't know that I did. I really. I felt like there was a effort by the fans to um, come out. Today. I think that started in Trojan Walk. Um, we really felt that they had come out today. Like, hey, we're going to really support this team. And um, I, I, could, I could feel that in Trojan Walk. I could feel that in the in the tunnel going down before. There were some signs and stuff. So. I just, I just think that sh shows how special our fans are. Lane, you feel like the fans are back on your side now? Oh, we, we got, <laughs> you got to win the next week. You know, this is a professional run. You can't get too high and too low. We're not all. We don't all of a sudden have all the problems solved on this team. We got a lot of work to do. Um, we had to win today to get to two and one. No matter what we were going to do, we weren't getting to three and zero oh today. And so we weren't going to keep looking backwards. We we're going to get to two and one. And now we got to get to three and one. And that'll start with our preparation. One more for coach. I don't think of it that way. It doesn't matter. I don't. I can tell you, no matter what happened the week before, no matter what some, whether I'm getting fired or not, um, has nothing to do with how we prepare. Um, I'm. I don't know how you can be more committed from a work standpoint of this staff towards these players or for these players, and that doesn't change week to week, regardless of what happened or what people, where people see your job security. Coach, you said a number of times this week that the sky is not falling. Did, did you say that with the thought in mind that you could have? This type of day today? Yeah, because I, I tried to keep saying we had one problem last week our passing game. We played lights out on defense, pass defense, run defense. We ran the ball really well last week, and we just were really bad throwing the football. So to me, it was if we can just fix this one thing, where you get in trouble when you have the games where you just get blown out, you say, we ain't very good on offense, or we're not very good on defense, running or passing. And then you got a lot of problems. So um, once again, to the players, they fixed it. You know, they did a great job of execution, a great job of making plays for Cody, and Cody made some really good decisions when plays weren't there. Um, you know, so that we didn't turn the ball over. Pitched a shutout today. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, Cody Kessler, Josh Shaw. Questions? Cody, did you feel it helped your confidence to know you were going to be the guy the whole game, that you were the guy today? Did that help? Did that change your demeanor, help you at all? Yeah, I mean, and not only today, I think just the whole week um, with the mindset. Um, because, you know, the first two weeks, I'm not making excuses at all for, for how I played the first two weeks, but you can't really take control, you know, during the week and, and step up and be that guy to lead the whole time when, when you're sharing reps and you're sharing time. Um, but this week, you know, um, starting on Sunday, Coach Kiffin said, hey, let's roll. Um, let's start this thing off right. You know, we trust in you and let's get this thing going. So, you know, that gave me the whole week, you know, to get prepared like I know I can, you know, and, and, and take control of this offense. Um, and like I said last week, you know, I, I took 100% of the blame um, for that loss because our, like Coach Kiffin said, our pass offense wasn't great. Um, but you know, there's just a whole new, whole new confidence, I guess, uh, this week, and, and I think it really showed today in the offense. Why did the uh, you feel that pass offense changed last week, right? Yeah. Uh, well, what was the difference in your opinion, where it, where how it how it changed? Was it the play calling? Yeah, more I mean, optimistic, more aggressive. Yeah. How did you see it? Coach, I mean, Coach Kevin called a great game. You know, he really put us in plays um, for me to have multiple reads. Um, you know, to get the ball to the right guy. Um, and, and that play to Marquise, you know, that was um, a read play. Nelson had a post route, and he said, if Nelson's there, take it. Um, if the safety to the field plays inside, give it to Marquise, and, and he did just that. So it's nice him giving me options, um, you know, in, in games like this. 
Um, and it, it was just very exciting, you know, overall, when you get that rhythm, you know, and, and not having to worry, me personally, about if I'm going to play the second half or coming out and just having one half to, to you know, pitch a game or, or play a perfect game for one half. Um, I had that confidence where we can get a rhythm and, and really, you know, drag this thing out to the end of the game. And, and that's, I think, what we did on offense. Would it be fair to say the game plan was drastically different this week than last week? Absolutely. I mean, it, it was a lot more aggressive, obviously, and everyone saw that today. And. I mean, that, that first pass Marquise, obviously I wish I could have that back and just let him a little too far. Um, but even if you know, it wasn't completed, it was still a statement, you know, that, that we can stretch the ball downfield and we will do that. Um, and, you know, I'm just excited for our overall performance today, especially up front and in the run game. You smiled about it here a little bit, but what was your reaction when you heard the fans cheering after that first? Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. And, and I mean, it was really unfortunate last week, you know, they booed us, but at the same time, I mean, we deserved it. And, um, um, you know, and they were saying, you know, the whole fire Kiffin, booing Kiffin, and, and that's just, I mean, that's that's us. That's on us. That's on the players, you know, and that's not fair to, to get on the head coach because we're the ones playing the game, you know, and we got to perform for him. Um, and I feel like he really trusted us and knew that we were going to come back and do that. Um, and, and hopefully, I mean, we, we showed the fans what our offense is capable of and um, that Coach Kiffin, you know, called a great game and, and put us all in the right, you know, opportunities to make plays. Is there more of a concentrated effort to get uh, Xavier and Randall involved today in the offense? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, that's that's always been, you know, I mean, we have, like I always said, we have two NFL-ready tight ends. I mean, those, I believe firmly those both those guys can play in the NFL today if they had to. Um, and we definitely need to get them the ball more. And um, I feel like we did that today. You know, we, we had opportunities. Obviously, we got one call back on Randall, the block in the back. Um, but I feel like they both got a lot of touches today. And, you know, not as many as you want, you know, but it's a tight end. You know, you're playing tight end. You don't get... 100 touches a game, but I mean, you get the ball and, and you let people know that they are a factor and they have to worry about the tight end position. Josh, oh. the defense had another lights out game today. How does it feel to finally have a little bit more balance with the offensive and defense performance? It felt great. The energy on the sideline was just, it was awesome today. You know, you had, we were firing on all three cylinders, special teams, offense, defense. So as a defensive player, you know, it's just fun to go out there and know that your offense is moving the ball, you know, because the best place for a defensive player to be is on the sideline. And so our offense helped us out with that today. Coach, you talked about it being hell week. How tough was it in the locker room for you guys during this week? Um, it wasn't necessarily tough. Um, I think personally for the offense, it was a thing that you kind of, we took personal. Not like, it wasn't like, oh man, we're down ourselves, everyone hates us. It wasn't like that at all. Um, but I mean, it's definitely tough to bounce back um, from a game like that, especially starting on a Monday. You know, right when you come back, the very first practice back, you know, a lot of guys might be down or, or be upset, but we didn't have that at all. You know, we came out Monday and it was awesome um, that everyone came right to work, you know, and um, we took it personal. Offensive wise, you know, the defense has been playing lights out, like everyone's saying, and and they've just been playing so great and, and helping us out and giving us a chance to, to, you know, to put a lot of points on the board while the other team doesn't have any. And I think the we took it personal, as if we got to play for them. You know, we're not playing for ourselves. We're playing for the whole team. You know, those those are our brothers out there, just working their butts off on defense. You know, and we got to put points up on the board. You know, to help them out. Josh, 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 Josh offense this week in practice. How? How different were they in practice? Yeah. Oh, it was great. The energy, you can see it when we uh, came to practice on Monday. The, uh, they were throwing deep passes. I remember, I think, the first play of our team period, uh, they hit Nelson with about an 80-yard bomb for a touchdown. And from there, I think that kind of set the week off for uh, our offense as a tempo. Question for both of you. How much did the, uh, the players only mean get you guys prepared for the week? Yeah, I mean, we didn't we didn't have players only meeting, you know, and I don't know why. Um, and people were, I mean, I'm not trying to get too deep into that, but people are taking that the wrong way, like, oh, Kiffin doesn't know, Kiffin doesn't know. Well, what Marquise meant by it was there's a couple of guys, you know, and they were talking, little meeting, like they got together, and a couple of guys, it wasn't a player only meeting. And even if it was a player only meeting, there's a reason it's called player only meeting. The coaches don't have to know about it, you know, and that's, it's because, I mean, they, they can only do so much for us, you know, it, it's our team and we're playing for ourselves. Um, and at the end of the day, we have to be responsible whether we win or lose. And people put too much on the coaches um, when in reality, I mean, it's on us. We're the guys playing on the field. Josh, one of the big plays on defense is you and that stop open field on third down. Does have, is it fair to say that's the type of play that was helped a lot by tackling in spring and fall camp? You know, the last couple of years, they're having more missed tackles today. Really, the last two games, the defense has been finishing off those stops in space. 
Yeah, well, every week we come into practice uh, and we tackle. We tackle, uh, whether it's tackling scout team guys or tackling a, um, a bag or whatnot. Uh, Coach Kiffin and Pendergrass, they emphasize tackling a lot. And uh, Kiffin, one of his challenges to the secondary this spring was to become a better tackling um, secondary. And I think we're doing that thus far this season. Josh, do one more. Uh, this Boston College offense is you know, pretty physical, most physical you guys have seen this season. What did you learn? As a, as a unit today? Um, I learned we had to have great eye control, uh, definitely, because they'll run, 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 then play action. And for the most part, guys uh, were really keyed on, keyed in on their responsibility. Uh, and they were a tough team. They're running back. He's a, you know, a bruiser. Um, but again, our team is great. We had Ty Isaac down there on scout team this week. He gave us a great look. So we just came out here ready to go. Thank you, guys.